Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial series where we'll demonstrate how to access a wide range of real-time and historical stock market data using Polygon's APIs and the Go programming language. Polygon is a financial data platform that provides both real-time and historical market data for stocks, options, forex, and crypto. There are many API endpoints which offer quick and easy access to all sorts of market data. The really neat thing about all this is that you can programmatically access it using your favorite programming language. We have great documentation for both the REST API along with streaming data via WebSocket. There are also a bunch of pre-built client libraries, but today we'll be focusing on Go. Let's look at the documentation for a moment. So to access the APIs, you'll need to authenticate with an API key. But first over on the left-hand side here, you can access all sorts of market data, reference data, and real-time streaming data. To access these APIs using Go, we have an official client library which makes getting started really easy. If you scroll down here, you can see it requires Go version 1.18 or higher since we're using generics. To install the client library, you just use the go get command. Then here's what the imports look like. You'll create a client, authenticate using your API key. Then you'll call the API endpoints you're interested in. For example, maybe you wanna get ticker details, access raw trades across all exchanges or NBBO quotes, or maybe you want market-wide daily aggregates. Or maybe you're interested in real-time streaming data via the WebSocket. The Go Client Library has full features and it has plenty of example code to get started. So let's hop over to the command line and actually get this working. First, let's verify we have the correct version of Go. Next, let's get our client library. So that's sort of it for the setup side of things. I've also cloned the Polygon Go Client repo here since there's a bunch of example code. I'd recommend you do that too, since it's a great starting point. If we go into the REST examples directory here, you can see them. I'll open the stock aggregates bar example here and we can walk through it. The first thing you'll see here is that we're importing our client libraries. Next, we need to authenticate. You can do that by hard coding your API key, but I think it's better to use an environment variable. Then down here, we're using our client to grab some aggregates for Apple, one per day, and you can set our date range here. I set daily aggregates, but you could also set hourly or minute aggregates. Aggregates are the typical open, high, low, close, volume type of data that you use when you're creating visualizations and things like that. All right, so let's get out of here and we'll go sign up for an API key so we can set that environment variable. To do that, we'll jump back to the Polygon website. I'll show you the pricing page here, but you could also just click the get free API key. So there's a few different options depending on what your needs are. There are also enterprise plans for commercial use. So let's click sign up here for the free plan. I'll enter a test email and password. Then pretty much instantly, we're given a new account. If we scroll down a little, you can see our API key and we'll just copy it. And we'll head back to the command line. Then I'll paste it in here and hit enter. All right, so at this point we have everything set up. We have the correct version of Go installed. We ran the go get command to fetch our Polygon client library. We set up an API key and we have our demo scripts. So let's run that aggregate bar example that we looked at earlier. And just like that, we get some stock market data. Granted, this is a super simple example, but it proves our setup is working. Thanks for watching the first video here. And in the next video, we'll dive deep into stock market data using Polygon and Go. See you there.